Did you know that microwave safe doesn't mean that it's healthy to eat the food prepared in that container. It only means that that container isn't going to burst into flames. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> it just means that that container isn't going to burst into flames in your microwave. So this is Down the Ridge with Dr. Patty. And I'm Dr. Patty Barch, a traditional naturopath and owner of Naturally Unbridled Wellness in Onalaska, Wisconsin, and naturallyunbridled.com. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that you could do in your kitchen to ramp up the healthiness of it, okay? So first and foremost, let's talk about kitchen plastic. For the most part, get rid of it. Um, you don't want to put hot food into a plastic container. You ever um, come home from a restaurant where you've gotten takeout and they put the takeout in styrofoam, which by the way is like not recyclable if there's been food in it and it lasts forever on the planet. Um, but if you have ever, I've, I had this happen, I got Indian food, I got home, I ate the Indian food out of the styrofoam container, and when I had gotten to the bottom of the dish, the styrofoam had melted because of how hot the food was. So I ingested chemicals from styrofoam with that meal. So you really want to keep um, glass storage containers. I actually ended up getting rid of most of my round storage containers because I realized that not only is my refrigerator square, all my cabinets are square, and putting round containers in there left a bunch of dead space. So when I switched to all of the glass um, storage containers that have, they have plastic tops, you don't have a lot of options there. Um, I was able to fit more into my fridge and I actually have a very small refrigerator based on how my kitchen is built. Um, my fridge is half, well, I don't know about half, but it's not very deep and it's not very um, wide. So I need all the space I can get. So you want to get rid of plastic storage containers. I have a few random plastic bowls around that I, like my salad spinner, right? So, um, I, but I don't ever put hot food into a plastic container ever. So ditch the plastic, replace it with glass. The next thing to ditch is Teflon. Uh, so a lot of people don't realize that when Teflon is heated, it gives off a gas. And if you ever heard about the story of the canary in the coal mine, uh, what used to happen years ago before they had digital meters is when people would go into the coal mines to dig out coals, they might hit um, pockets of gas and not realize it. Some jerk left uh, like eight tires on the side of the road by what the heck people <sighs> who raises these humans right that's despicable behavior if you're the type of person whoever threw something out the window or decided you drive out to the beautiful countryside to throw your refrigerator out or a stack of tires or your paint cans uh, there's a special place down below for you and it's burning fire okay that set me off a little okay they go into the coal mine and there would be pockets of gas that they wouldn't be able to tell they were coming up on until people were overtaken by the gas and would die in the coal mine. So what they started doing was putting a little bird, poor birds, putting a little bird in a cage, little canary, go down into the coal mine. If the canary died, they knew that um, they were coming up on a gas pocket and they had to get out because it wasn't safe. 
So did you know if you have birds at home, like uh, captive birds, you already know this because most bird people know that if you have Teflon pans and you are cooking with them um, and you have captive birds, it puts off a gas that can kill them. You really want to cook your food on something that get, ha, puts off a gas that could kill your kill a bird in the same room? That's ending up in your food. Ditch the Teflon. So I cook with cast iron, enamel coated cast iron, glass, and stone. I do have some stainless steel um, that. I'll use like, um, I mean, I have stainless steel like big pot that I'll boil water in for stuff like that. But um, I do have some stainless steel, but when once you cook on ceramic coated cast iron, you don't ever need Teflon and it just, it's amazing. It, the, my favorite, favorite pans are my ceramic coast, coated cast iron. Um, then, so that brings me to aluminum. So you don't want to be cooking in aluminum, including aluminum foil. So if you have aluminum cake pans or aluminum cook pans, or you tend to cook in aluminum foil, get rid of that. Aluminum is a neurotoxin. It gets into your brain and makes you crazy. So you want to get rid of aluminum as well. Replace aluminum foil with parchment paper. Um, parchment paper. I, I don't know how it took me over 40 years to discover parchment paper, but that stuff is the bomb. You can even buy little parchment um, cupcake wrappers or papers so you can make egg bites and muffins and that sort of stuff um, in parchment paper, which has no artificial colors. Because of course, um, if you buy regular cupcake papers, they're all like different colors and who knows what they're coated with. So in this summary, um, ditch the plastic, ditch the Teflon, ditch the aluminum, and then all those healthy meals that you are preparing will be even healthier because they won't be bringing those toxins along with them. All right, I got to get to the chiropractor peeps. Peace out. Have a healthy day.